Hello and welcome to part two of my Hypercube evolution build. So I'm going to assemble the X and Y axis in this video. All the printed parts were done on the Anycubic Cossel Linear Plus and uh, they turned out pretty nice. So I've already pre-prepared these printed parts with the M3 brass inserts and to get these in you can just use the tip of the soldering iron just gently push them in and you end up with a nice secure and reusable connection as for the rest of the parts we've just got the linear bearings some smooth and toothed GT2 idler pulleys and then some 10mm and 8mm diameter uh, hardened steel rods for the axes. These parts are printed in E3D Spoolworks filament which is a PETG based material. The LM8 UU bearings are just a push fit into the X carriage. The Y carriage, um, these are symmetrical assemblies so they each feature a smooth and a toothed idler pulley and a end stop flag. So here we have the Y axis now, it's quite a nice design this so this screw just replaces the grub screw that was in the inner corner bracket originally so this printed part can go right to the top of the frame. The original Hypercube had a traditional corner bracket above the printed part so um, by doing this you get a bigger build volume for a given frame size which is nice. Uh, make sure you install the linear bearings before putting these components together, um, easy mistake to make. But uh, anyway yeah so we can now in install the x-axis. For me this is where most of the improvements have been made over the original Hypercube design. Uh, so this X carriage is a lot more rigid uh, and runs really nicely in comparison. Um, although the original Hypercube had a very light X carriage which is um, good because you have less inertia, uh, the, the, the bushings and aluminium rod setup was just really difficult to get um, to get everything um, to run true uh, without any any errors um, so but this is a a much more um, sturdy way of doing things so it should hopefully be a bit better um, so thanks very much for watching this video uh, the next one will add the motors electronics and belts and stuff and also configure Marlin 2.0 so um, thanks for watching, if you have any questions please leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next video.